A long time ago. Sam was very busy creating his first Visual Bucket 6 video. And upload. What would you do now? I'm fast as fuck, boy. He went sleeping for almost a year. In his sleep, he saw visions. It made him wake up. He took his camera and... Hello there! Today we are talking about events. No, not that event of me waking up even though it was pretty epic, but about Minecraft events. What's that? Everything that happens in a Minecraft server is an event. Breaking blocks? That's an event. Placing blocks? That's an event too. Even me waking up is an event. When coding plugins, developers use events to trigger code when something in the server happens. You could, for example, program a plugin that plays a creeper sissing sound every time you break a block. T Today, we will make a plugin that plays a sound every time you join. In the end, I challenge you to send a title to the player. Now, how can we use events in Visual Bucket 6 without getting stuck after placing the first block? Let's start with a new project and I'll explain everything along the way. Firstly, you need to add a component and give it a name. Or if you're just as lazy as I am, select event listener and click OK. We now need to select the event that triggers our code. In this case, we need player join event, almost like in Visual Bucket 5. The component needs to perform something, playing a sound. Everything that happens is called a method, more on that later. We drag in a method block. It's now asking for a class. But what is it? Heck, what even are packages, classes, methods and fields? Everything I am about to tell is extremely simplified and is only to give context. Don't write this on your exam. To understand the terminology, imagine a theme park. Huh? What? Yes, a theme park. It represents a Java program, like your plugin or Minecraft server. Every park has different zones, such as an arcade zone. Similarly, Java programs have packages. These packages contain classes, specific areas within a zone. For example, an arcade zone might have a racing area. The arcade zone would be the package and the racing area would be the class. Activities in the racing area, like playing a game or burning the place down because you lost, represent methods. In Java, everything a class can do is defined by methods. Lastly, we have fields. In Visual Bucket, fields are descriptive and influence how methods work. For instance, a method might set a game mode, but it needs to know which mode. That's the field. So to summarize, a Java program consists of packages, which contain classes. These classes have functionality through methods and fields. If the terminology still isn't clear, don't worry. I'll explain everything slowly when building the plugin so everyone understands. Ah, <sighs> finally back to coding. We now know what a class is, but how do I know what class to choose? There is something called Bigger dogs. This website will be your friend guiding you through your coding journey. Let's use it together to find the class we're looking for. We're currently in the packages section, which you can see right here. Remember the structure. 
packages, classes, methods and fields. To find a specific class, we first need to identify the correct package. The first package listed is called org.bucket. Is this the one we need? The description indicates it's the root package of the Bucket API, meant for general functionalities such as broadcasting a message to all the players in the server. Playing a sound, however, is a specific action. So let's look for a package related to players. Does something like that exist? By pressing Ctrl F or Command F on Mac, we can quickly search. Hmm, we see some results, but they're not quite what we're looking for, so let's search a little further. A few moments later. Org.bucket.entity seems like the package we need, because it includes all players, monsters, projectiles, etc. that can exist in a world. When we click on it, we can see all the classes associated with this package. Let's search specifically for player again. We have human entity class, but it's not what we need because it's for an NPC or a player. We want something more specific. Living entity is for a monster or a player. An NPC is for a non-player character. We definitely don't want this one. Aha! This is a class which represents a player connected or not connected to the server. When we click on the class, we can see all its methods. Try searching within the player class for methods relating to playing sounds. These are all our possibilities. Back at Visual Bucket, we now know our class and our method. The class is player from the Let's search the org.bucket.entity.player package and our method is the play sound method which we saw er earlier in the spigot documentation. I will choose this one. We now need to specify what player will hear the sound. We need to get the player and assign the sound to him. Getting a player is an action, and actions are methods. Let's get back to the home page by clicking on Overview. Here we will think again. What package would the method getPlayer be in? Probably in a player class where we looked before. Good guess, but you have to be specific. We want the player who joined and trigger the event. The class would probably be somewhere in a player join event class. In what package will we find this? Let's search for it. The package needs to be related to events. Click click click. Aha. We have a lot of options. Here the first one looks pretty good org.bucket.event But I think there exists a more specific package for our use case. It's important to be specific. If you don't, you won't find what you're looking for. org.bucket.event.player are all the events relating to players. It's more specific and thus we click on the package. Approximately 10 hours later. Alright. In here, we will search for a class relating to joining. Aha. A player join event exists. If you click on it and scroll down, we will find a get player method. In Visual Bucket, we fill this in. Lastly, it's asking for what event we mean. This is of course, current event. It's also asking to what entity 
we should play the sound. This is exactly the same code as our player, so we can just copy it and paste it. Phew, almost done. Now we just need to select the sound. Remember fields, the things which are descriptive and influence how a method is called? We need them right now. Search field and oh no, classes again. We could go over everything again with the Spiga docs, but we are really sure the field is about sounds and can't be more specific. What class would it be in then? Let's try searching sound and we're lucky. We now need to select what sounds we want to play. I will choose note block bass. Lastly, we need to specify the volume and the pitch of the sound. I will set both to one. Ah, finally done. Build your plugin, upload it to your server, put up your volume and cross your fingers. When we join, nothing happens. Bruh. Huh. Oh no, <laughs> lots of errors. Let's see where the problem is. Ah, I'm asking for a string, not a sound. I should have chosen this one. Your encode should look something like this. It's exactly the same, with the only difference here, it is a sound. Yeah, sometimes I make mistakes. <laughs> when we join the server, we hear a sound being played. Alright, no, don't click away. You still need to do at the challenge. Try to send a title to a player when he joins. Pause the video and try it on your own. Let's start off with adding a component, which is our event listener, which will listen when a player joins. All right. Sending a title is a method. We need to specify the class. This is player of the uh, org.bucket.entity.player package. The method is send title. Now we need to specify which player gets the title. Getting a player is a method, so we use method. Go. Now we need to um, write the title and our subtitle. If you want your title to have colors, you search colored string. Build your plugin and upload it to your server. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed. This video took 55 hours to make, so a like and a sub would be really cool. If you still have questions, I will be happy to answer. Goodbye.